Welcome to this short tutorial that will show you how to write your first test with our tester. You'll follow the getting started guide in our documentation and you'll write and execute your first test for C-sharp and we're using an iOS device. First, you need to make sure that you have .NET Framework installed. You can use .NET minus minus version to see that. You will also need an instrumented build. We have here the Trashcat Unity sample game. And then you'll also need to have Altested Desktop installed on your PC locally. We will follow the next instructions in the documentation. So first you'll need to create a new folder. And then we'll run .NET new and unit command inside the new folder to create a new and unit test project. We can then run .NET add package altested driver, and this will add the required nugget package to your project. Then we can run .NET test just to see that the placeholder test that's been created is actually passing. We can now open the project in Visual Studio Code and check the test file that was created. So this is a basic test as a placeholder created there. If you want, you can configure the .NET Core Test Explorer extension in VS Code so you can show and, and run the test. We have the link for it there in the, in the video. You need to set the .NET Test Explorer test project path, which we set it to any CS project file. And now on the right side, we should see the test uh, first show up and then we can run it to see that it has passed. In your instrumented build, make sure the IP address of the alt server is set to the IP address of your machine. The green pop-up would say waiting to connect to alt server on IP address. You can use if config to check the uh, IP address of your own machine if you are on Mac or, or Linux. Then you open Altester Desktop and wait for the device to say that it's connected to Alt Server on the set IP address. The device doesn't need to be connected via USB, but it needs to have access or be on the same Wi-Fi as the machine running the alt-tested desktop. And to inspect the game, the alt app name needs to match in the green pop-up and in the desktop app. So once you click inspect, you see the inspector here. You can open the recorder tab and start recording your first test in C Sharp. When you start the recording, C Sharp code will be automatically generated as you interact with the game. You can load a new scene. When you select an object from the screenshot area, a wait for object action is added in the code. You can also click on objects and have the action recorded as well. You can now record a whole test scenario this way. And in this case, we will wait for the cat to lose all its life for, as an example, test scenario. We have added a final wait for object action to see that the game over button and panel are displayed. So we can now stop the recording and copy the recorded test steps. We can now paste the code in Visual Studio Code uh, inside the test and we can rename it if we want.
and after a refresh we can run the test again to see it in action. The test will now wait for the game over scrim to show up before it passes. Now the test has passed. Thanks for watching.